Rolling. Rolling. Well, we're here on a really soggy ladies' race day of the Olympics, and it's obviously that the kids love this cycle race sculpture because they've been climbing all over it. I think we'll have to do some patch up work and then we'll have to do something with the sign, perhaps pull it out a bit further on some blocks. But I think everybody loves it, and that's absolutely fantastic. Well worth all the effort that we put into getting it up and all those people who sponsored it because without those sponsors we wouldn't have got anywhere. In 2011 I had just an idea. The idea was to do a legacy sculpture for the Olympics. I had no sculptor, I had no site, I had no money. When you have an idea you really have to research it and it wasn't long before I found a roundabout that Surrey Highway said I could use. This is the roundabout upon which we are going to be putting the cycle race sculpture. Up behind it is Box Hill and in fact they're going to be putting some big rings up there in the very near future. As you can see the preparations are already here. We quickly pulled together a selection committee for the sculpture and with three sculptors we selected a number of drawings, all of which were absolutely fantastic. It boiled down in the end to a second briefing, and at that briefing we selected one. We'd selected this fantastic design, but how on earth were we going to raise the shortfall of £12,000? Would we get community support to do this? Because my neck was on the line for the money if I didn't get 300 people by the 28th of July. The statue had lots of oak leaves on it to represent Surrey. So the solution was oak leaf sponsorship. 300 people paying 40 quid a time makes 12,000 pounds. Um, well, my husband's a keen cyclist and um, we thought it was a lovely a gift for Orla for her to be able to remember the Olympic Games going forward and also a permanent reminder of the special day that um, will be the road race going through Dorking. And I want to be part of the Olympic fun and excitement that's happening in Mull Valley and this will be a memory for my generations to come. Um, we do quite a bit of cycling and we often drive along the A24 so we thought it would be a good idea um, to buy the leaf so that every time we drove past we could think we contributed towards that lovely sculpture. And the old leaf sponsorship has been going pretty well. If you can see here we're right up to having quite a lot of, of them have actually been filled and we need 45 more people. Guess what we got front page on the Surrey ad? Just as well as I got 44 leaves to sell. I've just got another check-in, as you can see here, and that takes the leaf sponsorship that's still required down to only nine. And that's absolutely fantastic when you think, you look at that and you see all of those people have contributed 40 quid a time. It's so humbling to see a community event like this be so successful. Look, no trees. Box still still behind, but no trees. The back looks a lot bigger without anything in the middle, but I hope that statue is going to be large enough. I miss the guys working with their digger, but as you can see, it's here. And I understand a hole's been done, so I'm just going to go and have a look. In the centre of the island, I know I shouldn't be here, but tough. And look it, we've got a concrete base down. And it's soaking wet, so I must have just missed them. As you can see, I don't know if you can, it's actually 10 to 6 and it's 17th of July and on this lorry in front of me which has just pulled in is the cyclist. We now have we now have Gordon and David. This is Heather and behind us uh, the boys are about to go on to the back. The ceiling which will of course eventually take the weight of the piece that You're right. 
that is the finished thing. And as you can see, I have literally just finished it. But with me are two ladies um, who I found taking photos. So what were you up to? <laughs> Cycle race sculpture, and as you can see, even with the ladies' cycle race, and it's about to rain again, there's still lots of people around it. And I really think the public have taken the sculpture to their hearts because without those sponsors, we wouldn't have got anywhere. And the support we're getting from everybody for it and this area is fantastic. That the people now own the sculpture well, Mole Valley does, but the people pay for most of it. Hmm, sing this song. Hey. 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 Hey.